welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. It's my Will I Buy It series and there is so much good stuff to talk about. I do this every other week just cause that way I have like a lot of things to talk about cause I typically like making these videos to be about 40 minutes long and yeah. I don't know. I just make videos that I feel like I want to watch and I usually watch YouTube in the morning when I'm getting ready so I love seeing comments from you guys when you're like oh yes I can watch this video while I get ready and that just makes my heart sing because that's what I do in the morning that's part of my morning routine is catching up on all of my favorite YouTube videos so anyway without further ado let's get into some new makeup releases and just so you guys know special announcement at the end so wait until the end if you want to hear something very exciting and it's not a giveaway so if you want it to be a giveaway don't worry you don't have to watch till the end but for those special snowflakes out there that wait until the end of the video and watch until the end thank you and I will have a exciting announcement at the end just wanted to create some hype for you guys okay so let's see here, what did I bookmark? This one is kind of a rando, but I don't even really talk about this brand. I have one blush from them, it's Ciroc Beauty. It's kind of a higher end brand. And they're introducing a new dew drop foundation, light to medium coverage, hydrating, dewy finish, perfect for everyday wear in 20 shades. Pre-order now at the link in the bio. So this is on their Instagram page, I just saw this. I thought the packaging was really interesting looking, like. Not really sure if that's like a tube or a squeezy or what it is, but for all you luxury loving ladies out there, you might want to check that out. So I did bookmark that one for fun. And I also bookmark this. Um, M Cosmetics is, I think they've had glosses in the past, but they're reintroducing them or something I think is what Hannah said to me but they're calling it the true true gloss sweet essentials inspired by endless summer nights and the decadence of desert these shades are the perfect way to sweeten any look with a glossy pop so M Cosmetics is on my list of things I want to try in 2019 mostly because of Hannah Louise Poston she's been talking about their infinite lip clouds and then they came out with these serum blushes and now they're coming out with glosses and I think Hannah had also mentioned that their eyeliner is really good so I want to place an order with them as soon as I have money to do that. <laughs> Currently saving for a few things so I don't have the funds to go out and try the new brand but oh my god all of their stuff looks so good and like this shade like are you kidding me it's like a, a terracotta gloss I think it's called Faded Clementine a soft tangerine like give it to me give it to me right now and these launch August 5th so that's today they should be out um, and their lip clouds are sold out so I just want to wait and like buy a bunch of stuff when everything is in stock but anyway now I'm gonna flip over to trend mood and this video should have gone up on Sunday technically but I had a very eventful Saturday, so it's going up a little bit late, but I think that's okay because there's so many Will I Buy It videos that I like to watch that come out on Sunday, so it's fine. So Anastasia's new foundation launched today, Sunday, that's when I'm filming this, and ah, oh, this is so exciting. I totally picked this up on Alta's website, so it's going to take a little while to get me get to me because my Alta shipping is like so, so slow. But that's okay because I had points, so I wanted to get it on my points. And basically, this is a luminous foundation. It's liquid, it's dewy, and it's supposed to be skin-like, and you're not supposed to need to set it, which I'm excited about. It's 50 shades, medium coverage, natural finish, vegan, gluten-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, non como suitable for sensitive skin, long wear, $38, one fluid ounce. So I'm excited for that because it just sounds like a dreamy foundation. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to try it. And I wasn't very excited when they did their foundation sticks. I never picked up that foundation stick. And I think a lot of the comments were that it was very dry and not that great seeming. So I'm excited for this one. Plus I can get it on Ulta. I like that they launched it the same day on Alta so that you didn't have to wait um, a couple of weeks 
because usually they launch on ABH and then you have to wait and then it launches to Ulta, so I like that they did that. And along with that, they did launch a setting powder, so it's formulated without gluten and oil, clinically tested, cruelty-free and vegan, $36, 25 grams or 0.9 ounces. There's five shades. I did pick this up as well in the shade Banana, which is a medium to deep. I liked the Banana shade because I thought it would work really well for baking, so I'm excited to try those out and give you guys my thoughts. Quick announcement, I mentioned this in the video where I showed this eye look as well. If you guys are waiting on my Pat McGrath review, I don't know where my Pat McGrath order is. Like, it launched a week ago on Friday and haven't gotten it yet. I kind of kept people updated on Instagram. I'm a little bit frustrated because I purchased the system and it was like 250 bucks on Pat McGrath's website and that's a lot of money for me which is why I don't really have really a huge makeup budget this month because I put all all of it pretty much towards the Pat McGrath foundation and I paid for second day air and second day air has come and gone like I'd just be happy if I got it in the next week but right now I'm just like really frustrated with Pat McGrath's website and their fulfillment uh, because I don't know I feel like they should plan better and like for me it's like if somebody bought the system and they paid expedited those orders should have shipped first and then the other expedited orders and then people that just paid for regular processing time so it's not just me there's so many other people people on YouTube that still haven't gotten their orders yet and I just feel like for a million dollar company like that's a little bit unacceptable so I like low-key regret like putting all that money into that. I wish I just bought the foundation on Sephora and like moved on with my life but lesson learned and the worst part is this isn't the first time that I've had bad customer service with Pat McGrath. The reason I did expedite it is because they can not be notoriously slow like sometimes their shipping is excellent like I remember when the last palette came out I got mine in time like Melissa Gold in Australia got her palette like a day or two after I got my palette so they can be really good and then they do stuff like this and it's like it's very inconsistent and I don't know it's like one of my favorite brands so I'm like really kind of like sad about it but I just wanted to let you guys know little announcement there's so many foundations coming out I also picked up the new one from Urban Decay I wasn't planning on buying it but then Alta had a coupon where if you spend $35 you got $10 off your order um, it was a $39 foundation so I got it for pretty cheap and I've been hearing decent things about it so I picked up the foundation to try out I'm not really sure about the shade like if it'll work for me or not but once I get it I'll do like a little wear test and keep you guys updated about it if it's worth picking up or not so the next thing I see on here are some LC cosmetics lip products they're doing lip vinyls and these are liquid lacquers that deliver maximum color and shine while moisturizing lips with energizing vitamins the rubbery sensory quality melts into the lips and mirrors a fresh look long-lasting super pigmented lip lacquers paraben free preservative free water resistant latex effect high coverage sponge proof in six shades $24 I like the shade page that's a really cool color and Quora is beautiful Tara is a beautiful color as well I'm not really into pinky lipsticks these look really cool. I feel like Elsie is always in that like kind of expensive <laughs> price category for me. I have a video a long long time ago when all the influencers were raving about Elsie. I bought the foundation, an eyeshadow palette, and something else. I think no, I bought the foundation and an eyeshadow palette like I spent like my noodle money on it and I was so disappointed by the products so I haven't really been into purchasing from them but they're at Ulta now so I feel like a little bit better about it because at least if you're at Alta then you can like buy it and get some points and stuff like that versus when I purchased they were expensive and then you had to pay shipping you know true indie brand style but yeah I was just I remember it being so expensive at that time so I've just never wanted to go back and buy from them okay so there's some new releases on Alta's website today 
the Anastasia foundations on there. Morphe came out with the Mega Matte Nude Lipsticks in 10 shades for $9. These look really cool. I just really am not a huge fan of bullet lipsticks, so I didn't pick any up. I do like Morphe's liquid lipstick formula, but yeah, I can pass on. I literally have been like rearranging my makeup room because... <laughs> As you can tell, this is like kind of a new background. I got some new shelves. These are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. Um, so this is one, and then I have another one. But I bought this like wallpaper. That's what's in the back, that gold fleck thing. Um, and then I ran out of wallpaper for the second one, so I had to order some online at Target because my local store only had one roll, which I purchased. And so now I have to wait for like my order to come before I can do the other shelf. So like my beauty room is like in a state right now. Um, but I was like curating my shelves and I have these like acrylic drawers that I used to house my makeup collection and I put them up there up here and I filled them with liquid lipsticks and I was like I don't need to buy another liquid lipstick for like a century like there's no need I need to go through everything and organize <sighs> Every time I think about it, it like makes my head spin, but there's a lot. So I'm not buying any lipsticks, but those do look really pretty. And then there's a new NARS palette on Ulta's website. I don't know who's buying these NARS palettes anymore. I mean, I feel like, great, they look nice for every day, but like, come on. Like, you don't really need that, do you? There's a new Morphe highlighter palette for $22. Milani, the Violet One Lash Primer. The new It Cosmetics Mascara with Dry Bar. Um, the Jaclyn Hill brushes are now being sold individually on Ulta's website in case anyone cared. They also added a Flesh Liquid Foundation by the brand Flesh. And then Dose of Colors new foundation is on Ulta as well, including the sponge, which is the online only seamless beauty sponge by Dose of Colors for $15. So I'm sure the Dose of Colors foundation is good. I just feel like... I already have the Pat McGrath foundation, Urban Decay foundation, the new Anastasia foundation coming to me, so I feel like I'm good on foundations to try. Plus today I'm wearing this foundation, which is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I feel like Andrea Matiliano raves about that foundation, so I was in store the other day and I had like $5 off a $10 purchase, so I bought it to try out. It's very matte. I'm wearing it today, and I don't love the shade match on me. It's a little bit cool tone, like... I got 065 bronze beige, so that's what it looks like. I did not see this coming at all, but um, Lime Crime just launched the Venus Vivid palette. So this is an eight shade matte and metallic and shimmer and foil finish palette by the brand Lime Crime for $38. And wow, like I did not see this coming at all from Lime Crime. It's actually really interesting looking. There's some beautiful shades in there. There's a beautiful orange shimmer called Super Bloom, and Flutter looks beautiful in Happy Place, and Lux. Lux looks like it might be a shimmer, because people were telling me they thought it was weird that it had two yellow shades, but I'm thinking Lux might be a shimmer. I don't know. I can't tell, but... Oh, actually, let me look down here. Yep, it's a bright golden foil, and Happy Place is a yellow-green shimmer. So, probably different formulas, even though it looks like they're very similar shades. I'm sure if you see this in person, it might be a little more helpful. Swatches look okay. I don't know. I feel like I have a million palettes like this, so I'm not buying it. But when I saw it, I was like, Lime Crime? Like, I don't know. Lime Crime's just, like, very... They were so rebellious, like, when they first came out, but I've never thought any of their palettes were that great. I feel like they had one of the original, like, warm tone palettes, so that's what really helped them stand out back in the day, but... I don't know, I don't think they've done anything recently that's like blown my mind, so I haven't really been gravitating towards that, but let me know if you're planning on picking up that palette, because I'd definitely be curious to hear you guys' thoughts about it. So, beauty news, Ulta Beauty is getting another skincare brand, they're going to launch Sunday Riley, um, this will be available on August 11th and in 300 stores as well, so that's kind of nice. I used to be obsessed with Sunday Riley because the Juno oil would work so well for me. And I tried the UFO as well as the Luna oil and the Flora oil. They're good. The Juno is my favorite. I haven't used them in a while though because I feel like after a while, like my results from it kind of plateaued and I didn't feel like it was doing as much hydrating as it 
originally used to so I'm a little bit bummed but that's okay, like, shit happens, you know. Here's something I'm really, really interested in. Oh my gosh, when I saw them talking about this, I was like, uh -huh, I think I need that. The shade Golden, the shade Ginger, those two shades are like calling to me. And so Melt's owners have been talking about these on their Instagram, but this is the Melt Cosmetics Undertone Nudes five different liquid lipstick shades for $19 each, and they're doing a PR box for $65. These will launch August 9th at noon Pacific Standard Time online at Melt. I think it's going to come to Sephora. They were saying that it would. They just didn't say like if there was going to be a PR set or not. So I just love this so, so much. And I've never tried the Melt formula. So let me know if you guys have. What do you think of their liquid lipsticks? Are they worth it? I just think this is such a good idea. From what I remember, the founders of Melt on their Instagram were saying like they're formulated with the different foundation undertones. So they were basically trying to do like a perfect nude for each foundation undertone. So like light, medium, tan, deep, deep dark or something like that. And they are lighter. So even the darker shades look so beautiful on them. And they said it's like really nice for ombres. And like you can mix the colors together to make like custom lip shades. So I just thought it was a really cool concept. It's not like they reinvented the wheel, but I think they kind of gave it like a little bit of a twist on nudes. I think that's like really cool how they presented it. So I'm very interested in that makeup launch, to be very honest with you guys. Okay, so here's a palette I passed on, but I'm expecting a lot of Instagrammers and YouTubers to be reviewing this. This is the new Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. It's called the Coral Palette. It includes five full-size eyeshadows with matte and shimmery finishes for $48. I think this is available on Beautylish and Sephora as well. I think it's a cute palette. I won't be purchasing it. I would be really interested. Like, is Natasha Denona releasing an eyeshadow palette almost every month? I feel like it's actually almost every, like, two weeks. Every three weeks, I feel like she's coming out with stuff pretty quick here. And one time I had said in a video like this that Natasha Denona is a high-end color pop, and you guys thought that was really funny. So, <laughs> I mean, she hasn't said I was wrong. Like, literally, there's something coming out from Natasha Denona, like, on a weekly, bi-weekly kind of basis, as far as I can tell. So, Murad is coming out with the Invisi Invisic Scar refer Resurfacing Treatment. Velvety Smooth Resurfacing Treatment visibly minimizes scar size, depth, and texture and discoloration in 8 weeks. BHA exfoliates while a unique blend of highly purified centella and sciatica and vitamin C encourages natural radiance and a healthier looking complexion for $35. That seems really freaking affordable for Murad skincare. Some of them are a little like bottles are so spendy like their vitamin c stuff is like almost 80 bucks i thought that was crazy i do like their blue line i really like the face wash they have for acne i usually pick that up when i can get it on sale usually it goes on sale for 15 dollars. it's reduced from 30 and this is that same blue so it's the same line and it sounds really cool i don't think i'll be picking that up right now but potentially during a sale i think it will be interesting to try it out. I don't really have acne scars, but I mean kind of like small ones, so I could I could probably try that out. So, sounds interesting. Okay, so Sigma revealed their new palette. This is the Enchanted Palette by Sigma Beauty. It includes 14 shades, pigmented, buildable with different finishes in matte, dual chrome, shimmer, sparkly is also travel friendly with a mirror dual ender brush for $49. And this launches on August 13th at Sigma Beauty, and you can use the code TRENDMOOD to get 10% off. So I actually think this is a beautiful palette. I'm going to throw up a picture of swatches that TRENDMOOD did. I actually like the lower section with that, those four shimmers and then like the darker browns. And then that green shade looks really cool. The top half could be any palette, like, you know? So it's fun to see, you know, Sigma do something like this. I don't think they're as well known for their makeup as they are for their brushes so I don't know it's cool I guess but it's it's not like screaming to me it's not like bye you know so I'll be excited to see whoever 
I know that gets it in PR, I'd be excited to watch their videos, but it's not something I'm going to go out and buy. So BH Cosmetics came out with some loose setting powders. There's a translucent and a under eye brightening powder. The translucent powder is $12, the brightening powders are $9, and they come in fair, light, medium, and deep. I'm still a little bit bitter about BH Cosmetics. If you guys saw my monthly haul, I made a little bit of a boo-boo on there, so I haven't really wanted to purchase from BH Cosmetics after that, which is fine, whatever. Like, I don't need any more makeup, you guys. Like, there's so many things I want, like, I don't need another powder or affordable BH palettes. Like, I have so many, I haven't even reviewed the ones I have, so I'm good. So the next thing I see here is Makeup Revolutions coming out with a new foundation concealer in a new finish. So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer, same 50 shades, infused with hyaluronic acid hydrating formula, medium to full buildable coverage. I didn't really like this foundation in the original formula. And the, the concealer is really big and fat. Like it's like a Juvia's Place size concealer. I really like their eyeshadow primer. I have it in here somewhere, but I'm okay. I don't need any more foundation. I'm so, I'm so good right now. Okay, so here is something like I'm so excited about. Like I literally lost my shit when I saw Angelica like opening up the box and I'm like, <gasps> no. <laughs> like I got so excited when I saw this. So Kaleidos Makeup is coming out with two new Futurism palettes. So I have some videos with the Fu Futurism collection. I picked those up a few months ago, I think they launched. Yeah, they launched in April and they're already coming out with new palettes. It's so crazy because you think like, oh, it hasn't, it's been a long time, but April really wasn't that long ago. But these are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Uh, VR Neon and Electro Turquoise. Six shades matte and shimmery and these will be available on august 13th i think i saw kaleidos posted the information on their instagram page yeah they're launching august 13th at 8 p.m pacific standard time and they're saying vr neon palette will be 24 dollars on our side and it will be limited edition only so if you want them you're gonna have to fight to get them because <laughs> they're gonna be wildly popular and everyone is so so excited and so many of my youtube friends have gotten this palette in pr so i'm excited to see all their different eyeshadow looks and stuff and i can't wait to pick up those palettes because oh my god they're so pretty they're just like they're just like so fresh you know and fun like i don't know some of these other eyeshadow palettes i'm like oh, I'm just like getting tired just like talking about this stuff. Okay, so Pure collabed with Barbie for a new collection celebrating Barbie's, Bar Barbie Barbie's 60th year. And there's an eyeshadow palette, a lip semi matte lipstick, a highlighter, lashes, brush. <laughs> peel off mask, like a bunch of stuff. This stuff is all available on Ulta's website. It's a cute collection. I don't hate it at all. It's so beautiful, but I don't know. It's not really like if somebody would like, okay, Karen, here's some money. Go buy yourself the Barbie collection. I would do it. But since I like buy my own makeup, I don't really feel like I need to buy this <laughs> buy this palette. But if somebody were to send it to me and was like, here, make a video about it, sure, I'd love to. No problem at all. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, but mm, I don't know, guys. Okay, so the next thing is Kylie's birthday collection. She's coming out with your zero money baby I don't even know I don't know it's like a money themed. it's like a money themed collection I feel like this is such a bad idea as far as her audience like I feel like not everyone is 22 and a billionaire like you know what I mean like that's not really realistic so I feel like this collection is either going to make people really sad that they're not 22 and billionaires or influence like some really bad life choices like spending 
more than you have or some kind of bad decision making on the part of like her fan base which is probably most people that are in like high school is what I would think. Everyone thinks the eyeshadow palette is beautiful and I yeah it's fine but like this makeup is just not doing anything for me and like all the dollar signs it's kind of giving me like the Too Faced Pretty Rich vibes. I don't know I could make a poor person palette like <laughs> I'm broke, I need money, I need to sell my body for money, like I could make some shades like that, you know? <laughs> and I think I was watching Amy's video today and she was like, there's a shade called On a Budget, or maybe it was Angelica, it was one of those two, she's like, On a Budget, like, can't, like, versus, like, shades called Stacks, and like, you know, build your empire, like, time is money. Oh my god, these are crazy names. Ball and Bay. Bay. Ball and Bay. Goal Setter. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm not buying any of it. But it's going to be available on August 10th if you want If you want any of this. Oh my god, this packaging is so obnoxious. So the next release, this is so disappointing to me. This is supposed to be the new... What is this? The new... Neutral Mattes Palette by Viseart. And like the first two rows make sense, but like, I'm sorry, what part of neutral is a blue eyeshadow and what part of neutral is a pink eyeshadow? I feel like they kind of wanted to make a palette that would still like fit in with like the trends. So they threw in a pink and a blue. I don't see what, like, what? Like, w this is not a neutral palette. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> like, no, pass pass, 100% pass. This will be available on August 5th online at Muse Beauty Pro. I like the original. I don't know why they decided to throw in some color like that negates the whole point of being neutral in my opinion. Okay, I really want this. This is a new Tatcha Melting Eye Cream in Silk Peony. This looks so yummy. I am working on finishing up an eye cream so maybe eventually I'll pick that up. And MAC just came out with a new lipstick collection. It's called the Love Me Lipstick. Includes 24 lipsticks in special packaging. Is there something special about this formula? It looks like a glossy lipstick formula. Whatever you want to make out of that. But I feel like this one, like, MAC's really late to the party. And honestly, like, who's paying $19 for a lipstick anymore when ColourPop exists? Like, do yourself a favor buy yourself affordable lipstick because you don't really need to spend a lot of money on lipstick when ColourPop exists. Okay, so ColourPop new collection, the Strawberry Collection, includes Strawberry Shake Palette for $12, Strawberry and Cream Blush Stick Duo, Pressed Powder Blush, Jelly Much Shadows, and some Ultra Glossy Lips, and then some stuff from um, Fourth Ray, and then a uh, Lip Scrub. So I actually want some of this stuff. I would take the palette. I love the lip glosses. They look so delicious. And then that one red jelly mud shadow. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so red. It looks so bright and delicious. So that's what I want from this collection. But I'm not going to buy it because I don't need to spend that money right now. Okay, remember I said like I have three foundations on the way. I want this one too. So I'm going to buy this when it comes out. It's the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydration Foundation. Perfect for normal to dry skin. This natural finish formula delivers hydration in medium to full coverage that keeps your skin looking like skin. Has a sweat and humidity resistant formula. Long wear. Instantly evening out skin without clogging pores or setting into fine lines. In the same 50 shades as the original Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. $35. And then she's coming out with a hydrating foundation as well as a kabuki brush. This will all be available on August 15th. I'm so excited for this foundation. I love the Pro Filter foundation. I have dry skin, but I love matte foundations. I even wear that one in the winter, which is crazy because I live in such a cold climate and my skin is so, so dry. But I prep my skin for the matte foundation and I wear it, like I wore it in a few of my last videos when I had the leopard print top on and my skin looks so good with the Pro Filter foundation. I love it so much. Even in person, like I think like my lights, you know, most of the time like my makeup looks really good with the lights and on camera 
But that foundation I can just like wear outside in natural light and I still think my skin looks really good. So I'm excited for the hydrating version as well. I'm going to pick that thing up. My shade is 370. So if you guys are my skin tone, try 370. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's so many good things coming out. Here's so I don't know if this is like Anastasia's fall collection, but they're coming out with some new loose highlighter shades. These are coming out on the 6th of August. They're doing like weird launches. Like the foundation came out today, which is the 5th. Today's the 4th. And then the highlighters are coming out on the 6th. And then the the Jackie Ina palette is coming out sometime mid August. So I don't know why they're like staggering things because why? Like just launch it all and we'll just buy it all together. But anyway, whatever. Make me wait. Whatever. I don't care. So they're doing these loose highlighters and the shade Peach Fuzz. Peach Fizz, not Peach Fuzz. It is like what my dreams are made out of. It's like the most beautiful peachy deliciousness. I'm wearing Genesis by Melt on my cheeks today. Um, and then the highlighter is the Fumi palette, the Juvia's Place highlighter. Um, but yeah, you can see Genesis in there too. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. So I want Peach Fizz. Like, I don't even care. And Vegas looks beautiful too, but I really, really, really want Peach Fizz. And then they're also launching a liquid liner, which is supposed to be waterproof and highly pigmented which I won't be buying because I don't need one. And this I wasn't thinking would be that exciting, but I actually think these are really beautiful. So Carly Bible is collaborating with Il Maquillage and she's coming out with three lipsticks. So three lip glosses, three waterproof lip liners, and then three um, beautiful lipsticks. And she's going to do bundles as well. And these shades are actually really pretty, like the nude, the rosy nude, and the red, and like the gloss, and the like the liner combo, like everything looks really, really good. So I'm actually really happy for her, like it's not something I want to buy, but like good for her for coming out with something so beautiful. And that launches on August 8th. And then I'm wearing the Fubi palette, like I said, I already have a video showing you guys like a first impression. So go ahead and check that out. I will try and remember to link it up in the cards for you guys. And then Jackie Ina did a sneak peek. But now it's actually on Sephora. So I will put up a picture of the palette for you guys. And I don't hate it. I think it'll be a nice palette. I like Anastasia as a brand. Okay, so OPV's new palette is out. This is the Tropical Vibe eyeshadow palette and it's $36.51 18 shades I don't know I think I talked about this before it's beautiful I don't really think I have a color story like that but I'm not gonna buy it I think it'll be fun to see videos on it if people get it in PR and stuff like that but I'm gonna go for that Kaleidos palette and some of these shades remind me of the teal palette from Kaleidos that they're coming out with so okay I low-key want these but I'm like scared to even oh yeah no they're $155 the Beautylish and Chikuhodo collab this is so cool I saw somebody play with them on Instagram stories and it's called the Sakura collection they're like travel makeup brushes and they look so beautiful and just well made and beautiful and just yeah they're like really really stunning brushes but 155 bucks. No, thank you. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Juvia's Place is sneak peeking that they're coming out with contour sticks. And they, just from like that one sneak peek shot, it looks so creamy. So I think that'll be cool. It looks like you can even use it under your eyes. One of the models in the picture is using it under her eyes. I don't know how much these will be. I don't even know if I'll pick them up, but I think that's cool. Especially because you know Drubius Place is going to come out with really dark shades. And I think that'll be really nice for people that haven't been able to find contour shades in their skin tone um, at this present time. So I think that's really cool that they're doing something like that. There's so much makeup that I don't give a shit about. Holy crap. Okay, let's talk about this. This is cool. So, Lunar Beauty is launching their summer 2019 collection. It's called Strawberry Dreams. I've seen so many, like, mixed reviews on this because people are like, oh, that's so boring, oh, this, oh, that. I honestly don't think it's a horrible palette. Do I need it? No, but this is probably the best color story he has come out with, in my opinion. 
I know my friend Britt Clark here on YouTube purchased it. I don't know if she's used it on her eyes yet, but I'm excited to see what she comes up with. I think the shimmers look really beautiful. And a lot of people were commenting saying that they wish the outside matched the inside. But I don't necessarily agree with that because as pretty as the outside packaging is, if they made a palette that looked like the outside, I feel like it would look a lot like the Huda New Nudes palette because those are the shades. They're like very mauve shades. And I'm like, we already have that palette. So really there was no way Manny was going to win because it's like he's damned if he does and if he's damned if he doesn't. Because if he had made like the boring nudes palette, then everyone would have criticized him for making a boring nudes palette. And then he tried to do something a little bit interesting and throw a few blue shades in there and everyone's like freaking out. And then some people thought it was strawberry, like the fruit. So people were like, why did he do blues? He should have done greens. I'm like, it's strawberry moon, like in the sky, not a strawberry fruit, like the one you eat. So, so I was like, well, it wouldn't have made any sense if he did green. So I get why he did blue, just like tie in the fact that it was a sky thing. And so, you know, like I don't love Manny. I'm not going to like go out to war for him, but I don't think he did the worst job with this palette. Definitely seen worse from his brand. So I'm happy he did something like this. ColourPop collabed for the second time with Becky G and launch the Viva Super Shock foursome and some little glosses. The Super Shocks are beautiful, the packaging is beautiful, everything is gorgeous, but I mean, I don't know who's buying Super Shocks at this point. Like, I feel like there's every shade of Super Shocks been okay without it. Zoeva is launching a new foundation line, 44 shades. I think this will be launching in Sephora in the U in Europe, not in the US, but you can buy Zoeva online if you really, really want to. Does Beauty Bay sell Zoeva? I think they do. I can't remember, but you'll have to let me know. This palette looks really cool. I don't know who Mitchell is, but there is a sneak peek of a palette that he's coming out with. And it's like a two-part situation. Looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of the Be Perfect loaded, double loaded palette that they just launched uh, with an influencer. It looks so gorgeous. I want this palette. I'm not going to buy it right now because I can't afford it, but if I get a chance to pick it up sometime in the future, I will. They're teasing a Makeup My Barrio X KKW palette, so that'll be interesting. I really, really want to film with the, the original one that I have. You can still buy it on KKW's website. I'm pretty sure I saw it the other day because I bought the So Fire palette and I'm pretty sure I saw the Mario palette on there. So if you had your eye on it, definitely pick that up. But I'm excited to see what round two is about. And then they launched the pre-order for the Glam Light paint palette and I did pick this up. Um, I just thought it was a fun rainbow palette and I really like Glam Lights formula, so I'm excited for that particular product. Okay, so Jue is launching a lip enhancer shine balm. They say this is a nourishing and moisture rich balm with a wash of color for smooth, shiny, kissable, baby soft lips, including ingredients like maxi lip, shea butter, jojoba seed oil, vitamin E, $18. These look really fun. I don't need them, the shade. Dahlia would be the one I would get and Poppy looks fun too like for a hot coral lip balm but I just bought the ColourPop tint balm stick things and those are just fine for me so I won't be picking any of those up. That is it. There is so much new stuff. I like since I make these every two weeks, I kind of forget what I talked about two weeks ago. So I was just looking at through the pictures, but I don't think there's anything else I wanted to cover. So what I'm really excited for is the new Anastasia loose highlighter, the Jackie Ina palette collab, the new foundation that they're coming out with, and the Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited for those palettes. They look so, so good. And then for my announcement, 
Are you guys ready for this? This is kind of exciting. So I did decide that I'm going to Jen live in October in New York City with Angelica and we're also going to be meeting some other YouTubers there. So I'll be in New York on October 11th through like the weekend. So if you guys are in the area or you're going to Jen live, please, please, please slide into my DMs so we can make plans to meet up because I don't know when I'll get back out to the East Coast after this. So it'll be so fun to meet as many of you as I can. I'm so excited. I don't even know what to expect. It's gonna be so fun to see Angie again and hopefully to meet more YouTubers and people I talk to on Instagram and stuff like that. I really, really, really hope. I get a chance to meet some of these ladies. So I'm really, really excited. And I've been to New York before once, a long, long time ago when I was in college. So let me know like your recommendations, things to do, places to visit. I would love to hear what you guys think. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye.